Ask Reddit by Purple Raspberries. What video game have you played the most? The Civilization series for sure. I have a theory on why Civ games last to dawn. We have a small part of our brain periodically that asks us are we wasting our life? And another part of our brain says no, we just invented feudalism. Removed. Sol Sol. OS Runescape probably overall. Although there's a lot of hours in Halo and Destiny. Almost 21 years of Runescape. I don't think there's any game that comes even close to the amount of time I've played. Battlefield 1. For a year or so I was number one on the global leaderboard for cavalry lance usage because I was obsessed. Respect this over artillery truck users. World of Warcraft, by far. Not even my favorite game but it has somehow beat all other games I have played in hours played by a lot. Minecraft. Just realized I've officially played the game for more than half my life now, on and off of course. Most likely Diablo 2. Played it since launch, still play it today thanks to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Combining Diablo 2, mods, Path of Diablo and Project Diablo 2, and Diablo 2 Resurrected it is by far the game I've played the most. Microsoft Solitaire. Been playing since Windows 3.1 came out. I bet there are some people that have epic hours in that but aren't on Reddit. Mountain Amp, Blade Warband. I feel like anyone who plays this game either stops after an hour or puts in 1000 hours. Warband is my most okayed game, Bannerlord is my second. A tie between Red Dead Redemption 2 and The Witcher 3. God. I just wanted to play through RDR 2 once. I hit 300 hours before I was done. What? The? Hell? How did Rockstar make such a huge, amazing game? Probably Skyrim. I've probably spent more time modding it instead of playing it, to be quite honest. Modding and fixing mod errors are 70% of the fun for me. Either Stardew Valley or Skyrim. I've put 1002, 000 hours into both games. Stardew is mine 1000 plus hours and still find stuff to complete. Team Fortress 2. I used to play the hell out of TF2. Rocket League. 5000 hours and counting. Was looking for this one. I've got about 3k and I'm still so fucking bad it's insane. Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas. I recently started New Vegas up yet again. Had a run nearing its conclusion years ago using the alternate start and a personal mod to make my character an enclave remnant fleeing from the east coast. Old save died on me trying to get it working on a new computer, so I started it over. I'm a level away from being able to snag jury rigging and thus the means to repair my broken enclave Mkii armor. Game remains a 10 stroke 10 for me, decade and a half later. Terraria. Likewise. Been playing it since 2015 and it's the only game I have more than a thousand hours in. Maria could we I. Played it so much as a young kid I memorized the order of characters, tracks, cards, etc. on the selection screen and could start a game without looking at the TV. And X200B. Before anyone asks I was eventually diagnosed with ASD. With CTGP and we I'm fee the Mario Kart we I community is still thriving. Really like TWD98's videos on YouTube or the current Mkwii community. Borderlands series has consumed a good amount of my life. Man I'm only getting into the series later and it's been a good half of my weekend's entertainment for like a year. It's a great playthrough split screen too. Probably Factorio or Crusader Kings. The factory must grow. Pokemon. 
to be specific, platinum version. I'm shocked I had to scroll this far to see this series. I can't even count the amount of hours I've dumped into this series collectively, seeing as I've been playing it since the 90s. Elder Scrolls 3, Morrowind. I played that game every day for 5 years. The title screen song is nostalgic. Tetris. I used to be hooked on this game. When I was a kid, my mom and I had an unspoken competition going. Whenever I logged in, I'd see she had high score, so I'd play until I got high score and then she'd log in at night and do the same. This went on for months. Red Dead Redemption 2. It's the only game I ever completed 100%, and it was totally worth it great game. Unfortunately League of Legends. Rainbow Six Siege and Modern Warfare 2, 2009, are both up there too. The competitive multiplayer games I can play with friends really suck the most hours out of me. That's a real League player alright. GTA San Andreas. Back in the days of CRT TVs, I had the San Andreas minimap and HUD burned into the screen on the TV in my room. Man, what a great game. Never did find Bigfoot though. Overwatch. Support group here. Dota 2, Counter-Strike. Had to come this far down to find Dota because Dota players are all playing Dota right now. Super Smash Bros. Melee. Ocarina of Time. I play that game at least once a year when I get the craving for a Zelda game. I'd have to say the Halo series. I have a friend who got an OG's box when he was in college and we used to hang out in his dorm and play cooperative. Assault on the control room was our favorite. I got my own box for my 20th birthday and shortly afterwards we started doing system link ale on parties with our friends. It became a regular thing and we would going to our one friend's house and play till the wee hours of the morning. His parents were cool with it cause they said they would rather us be there and safe instead of out partying, on the road. Fast forward almost 20 years and we're still playing. I've been playing Halo Infinite with some of our core group from back in the day, via crossplay. The new gun game mode has been particularly fun. Surprised to see Halo so far down. I was an ever FPS type of gamer way back then, and I eventually got introduced to Halo through a friend. We went on to play countless hours of Halo 2 and 3. The only game that might come close in terms of time spent in game might be Rock Band. Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Best game in the entire series. Bioshock. Beat it almost yearly. Such a good game. Even though I'm nearly 40 and have been gaming since I was 7, I've never delved that much into online games. But during Covid, I started playing both Final Fantasy Ziv and Rocket League. I'm now approaching 1100 hours in FFX IV and 1000 hours in Rocket League which is much longer than I've ever played any other game in my life. Rocket League is that high because I have a friend who plays regularly with me. I wouldn't have near as much fun without having someone to laugh with at all the mistakes we make. Final Fantasies of simply has a ton of content. I'm not even completely caught up with the story yet. You mean that critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy Ziv? The one with the free trial where you can play through the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award winning Heavensward expansion up to level 64 free with no restrictions on playtime? This is sad for me to say. But, Madden 2006. I decided to start, play every game of, and finish a dynasty mode. Which is 30 seasons. After about 2 years and 20 or so I got bored and stopped. Then years later hooked my PS to back up and finished it. So pointless. TBF. A lot of games are inherently pointless. But we give them purpose. If we enjoy the experience, then it isn't pointless. Recreation is important and purposeful. Don't be ashamed of your games of choice. 
It's your personal experience, not ours. It's all subjective. Destiny exclusively. A tool to see your destiny hours. HTTPS colon slash slash Wusted and Destiny dot com closed bracket d2 i'm just north of 3330 hours of actual gameplay plus another 1100 in tower or vibing in orbit vice city after finishing it kind of just drove around town at the speed limit and stopping at red lights like a nice little sunday i used to do the same with san andreas especially driving between los santos to alias venturas I used to love taking the back roads and listening to music. BF1 probably. Honestly one of the best games ever in my opinion. It's original and it was way before its time. Sims 2. I'd like to say there's been some contest, but I've also spent a lot of time fucking around in Sims 2. Command and Amp. Conquer 3TB Reim Wars. I like Red Alert more myself but that is a good game. Dark Souls 3. The PvP there scratches an itch that I have not been able to replicate with literally any other game, so I'll probably always go back to it as long as the servers stay online. I'm still getting my ass reamed by the Abyss Bros, almost got him last time I tried though, almost cried too. Crusader Kings II. I love that game. Took me longer than I thought to find a Paradox game on this list. Sunk over 1500 hours in Europa Universalis 4. CK2 is high up there as well. Oblivion. My first Elder Scrolls. Hell yeah. That was the inspo for my username. Path of Exile. Clocking in at around 20k hours. Going off of the size of the post sub, I expected this to be higher up. Also, 8k hours here since 2014. Zelda BOTWRAC. Animal Crossing? Assassin's Creed? Armored Core? Assetto Corsa? Ace Combat? Asheron's Call? World of Warcraft. Think my play does around 1400 days. That's real time. Jesus. I quit 13 years ago and was at 600 plus. I really hate to think what it'd be if I kept on. I think the answer is FFXII. I really like the game and I always want to do all the side quests as I play through it and I get myself well over 100 hours each time I play through it, but inevitably I get to the point of the game where you can enter the final dungeon and then all you have are side quests and I tend to lose interest around that point. By the time I feel like playing again I've forgotten everything about where I am and what I've done so I guess I have to start over? I have done this several times. I only ever actually forced myself to enter the final dungeon when the remake came out. The Legend of Zelda NES version lifetime that is. Binding of Isaac and Skyrim. Took way too long for me to see this answer. Boy will probably take at least a year of my life before I die. Chess. World of Warcraft. <laughs> 